Hi, I'm Jack from Make Me A DJ, and in this video, I wanted to take an in-depth look into Pioneer Record Boxes My Tag System. <laughs> Okay, so the My Tag function. In this video, we're going to be taking a much more in depth look into it. The My Tag system might be something that you've kind of come across in the past as you've been using Record Box and thought to yourself, hmm, I wonder what this is or I wonder what this actually does. And it's actually a great way to help us set criteria for our music collection. And then if we use that in conjunction with intelligent playlists, which is something that we covered in the previous video on Recordbox, it can really help us when we're in a DJ set environment to know what we're getting exactly when we want it. So this is something that I found out about fairly recently. And to use the My Tag system, you just hover over onto this little tag icon just over on the right hand side, just here. And the best way to think about what tags are they're a little bit like hashtags, what you use on the likes of Instagram, for instance. Start thinking about your music collection in terms of criteria, of genre, the components, and the situation where you might want to play them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this track just at the top of the list, which is actually a camel fat track. And what I want you to be thinking about when we play it is to be thinking about the genre or the style. Also be thinking about the components, so the makeup of that track, the characteristics of it, for instance. And also the situation where we play that track, whether it be at a festival, warming up, peak time, after party, etc. So let's take a listen and see what we think. Okay, cool. So to me, that sounds like progressive house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the plus button down in the bottom right hand corner and I'm just going to type in progressive house. And what I need to do is just make sure that that track is now selected and I can tick the box so that it's now tagged under Progressive House. Now what we're going to do is listen to the rest of the track to see what else we can pick up. So based on that, I definitely think it's got a synth in there. I definitely think it's quite vocal. Maybe I could add our own one in here i'm going to call it uplifting so if i wanted to tag this and find other tracks in a similar vein it'd be quite easy to do now what we're going to do is we're going to play the rest of the track and see which situation would work best for it so to me the ideal situation for this track would be build up so I've just got that selected there. It's something that's kind of not too obvious, but quite easy and accessible to dance to. So I would, me personally, I would deem it something that you could play sort of warming up. Um, so yeah, the, what I want you to do is be thinking about all of these different situations where you would play music. Because when you get booked to play a gig, you know, you could be shoehorned into any time of the night, really. So... So it's good to think about, you know, if you were playing a warm-up set, it would be different to if you were playing a peak time set, or if you were playing clothes, or an after-party, or a pre-party, etc, etc, etc. So what I want you to do is think about hashtags that will be customised towards your own needs, towards your own situations, your own genres, your own characteristics that you feel you might find useful in terms of if you can just hit that tag during a set, you know, you're thinking about the next track to play. You can just quickly navigate to a certain niche that you want and you can kind of stay in there for a while. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to couple this up with an intelligent playlist. So I go to the playlist window, select create new intelligent playlist. And this, for instance, I might call this vocal prog. And just in this section, I'm going to click my tag. And in the my tag bit, I'm going to go and select progressive house. And in the... Next section, I'm going to do the exact same thing, select my tag, and I'm also going to find the vocal section. When I hit OK, this track that we've already tagged has now landed into this intelligent playlist. So when you use the two hand in hand, and if you go quite sort of deep and detailed with your own personal tagging system, this is where you could take your music collection to a whole new level. You know, your music collection will almost organize itself based around these tags. And the good thing is as well, if you click a tag, you know exactly what you're going to get. So 
I wanted to draw your attention also to this rating system as well. As you can see, I've just clicked the star on this track here and it's lit up with one star. So if you think about if you had an uplifting sort of playlist with just full of uplifting style prog, you could rate these in terms of energy with one being something that you could play more towards the warm-up start of your set and five being like having it peak time, hands in the air kind of thing. So it gives you and allows you to have gears which you can shift through during a DJ set before you get, you know, you, you can start in one genre, go to the next, go to the next. It gives you some level of progression and journey in terms of how you go to make up your own DJ set. So again, this is something that I've been given insight to, to the students that come through the door here at Make Me A DJ. And it's definitely an easy way to kind of keep on top of your record collection automatically over time. It's just all do you have to do is just keep on top of those tags and everything will just kind of fall into place, providing that you set up your intelligent playlist correctly. Now, I'm a PC user, so I used to put my tracks into folders and I'd have my genre folders, but I also made specific folders for gigs whenever gigs come around. And one of the problems that I found is that I always had duplicate files lying around on my hard drive. So if you're someone who does something kind of similar, a great way to sort of veer away from that, save a little bit of room on your hard disk space is by using this my tag system that we've just spoke about in this video. So if you find this useful at all, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and click the little bell icon as well, just so that every time we upload the video, you get a notification. And don't forget as well to check out the website here at Make Me A DJ if you're somebody or you know somebody who wants to get into DJing or music production in the future. So hopefully you found this useful today and I'll see you again next time. Take care.